Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua. May his words of preaching teach us not just to know our faith, but to love God and to love others more. We present our petitions, our prayers today to the Lord through the powerful intercession of St. Anthony. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher, and an intercessor in their need. Grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, as God is faithful, our word to you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was proclaimed to you by us, Silvanus and Timothy and me, was not yes and no, but yes has been in him. For however many are the promise of God, their yes is in him. Therefore, the amen from us also goes through him to God for glory. 
but the one who gives us security with you in Christ and who anointed us is God. He has also put his seal upon us and given the Spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. Lord, let your face shine on me. The revelation of your words sheds light, gives understanding to the simple. Lord, let your face shine on me. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Lord, let your face shine on me. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Lord, let your face shine on me. You steady my footsteps according to your promise and let no iniquity rule over me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let your countenance shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. Lord, let your face shine on me. Please stand. Your words, O Lord, give joy to my heart. Your teaching is kind to my eyes. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so, your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, Saint Anthony of Padua was known to be an outstanding preacher. But Saint Anthony, in the midst of his expertise with his words, with teaching, with theology, reminds us always that preaching should lead us not just to know more, but to love more. He would say in one of his sermons or homilies that charity is the soul of faith. If there is no love, he said, then faith dies. Kaya nga, ang pagtuturo niya, 
ay hindi lamang nagbibigay sa atin na maging mas marami tayong alam. Ang pagtuturo niya ay nagdudulot sa atin na maging lalong mapagmahal. His preaching led us not just to know more but to love more. That is why if you would notice today, ngayon ko lang ho nakitang nakaayos ng ganito ang San Antonio de Padua dito sa Manila Cathedral. Napansin niyo ho ba may tinapay sa kanyang paanan? This is known as St. Anthony's Bread. No? In some other churches, in the shrines of St. Anthony, they would even give out bread to people after the Mass. This bread is known as St. Anthony's Bread or the poor man's bread. It is a good reminder for all of us that in the midst of the, the wisdom of St. Anthony and his preaching, at the end of the day, it would lead him to his love for the poor. The more he knows, the more he loves. Sana po ganun din tayo. Mas marami tayong alam, mas nag-uugat dapat yan sa mas malaki mong pagmamahal. Kaya lang nangyayari minsan, mas marami kang alam, mas lalo mong inilalayo ang sarili mo sa kapwa. When we feel we are better than others, we are more wise than others, we are more intelligent than others, we feel that we are above people. That is not like St. Anthony of Padua. Today, we hear in our Gospel reading today, a very good image of the mission of a Christian to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. But let us always remember the reminder of St. Anthony. Charity is the soul of faith. If there is no love, then faith dies. If there is no love, then your salt may become too salty. If there is no love, then your light will blind others instead of enlightening others. Baka pag walang pagmamahal sa puso mo, yung asin at ilaw, imbis na makapabuti sa kapwa, ay lalong makasira sa kanila. Makabulag sa kanila, maging masyadong maalat sapagkat nakatutok sa sarili. When there is no love, then faith dies. This is also the message of our first reading today when St. Paul reminded the Christians of Corinth that they are here not to proclaim themselves. They are here to proclaim the love and the promises of God to them. Yesterday, there was an open house here at the Manila Cathedral. I would like to thank the many people who have come here yesterday to the cathedral. And they would tell me, no, marami rin po akong na-meet na mga online parishioners ng Manila Cathedral. And they told me, Father, thank you for your homilies. Thank you for the open house. We learned a lot. Marami ho kaming natutunan. But I hope we will be reminded today by St. Anthony the goal is not just to learn more. The goal is to love more. Sana po, anuman ang naririnig natin sa banal na misa, anuman ang ating natututunan sa mga salita ng Diyos ay magdala sa atin na magmahal lalo ng lubusan. As we continue our celebration of the Mass, let us go to St. Anthony today. St. Anthony does not only teach us, he loves us. 
That is why we can present to Him all our petitions. Pati mga nawawalang gamit natin na hahanap niya dahil sa pagmamahal niya sa atin. Let us learn not just to know more, but to love more. Amen. We stand. Let us pray to God, the Father of light, that we may be faithful to our mission of being the light and salt of the world. For every petition, let us say, God of goodness, sustain us. God of goodness, sustain us. That the Church may show the power and radiance of the Spirit to all seeking the truth, let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of goodness, goodness sustain, sustain us, that the brilliance of the gospel may enlighten men and women entrusted with decisions for the development of peoples. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of goodness, goodness sustain, sustain us, that we, called to be salt and light of the world, may become a source of hope and comfort to our fellow men. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of goodness, goodness sustain, sustain us, that the sick, the depressed, and the heart broken may discover the light of Christ through the ministry of the Church. Let us pray to the Lord, God, God of, of goodness, goodness sustain, sustain us, that eternal light may shine on the faithful departed, let us pray to the Lord, God, God of goodness, goodness, sustain us. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Let us bring them through the powerful intercession of St. Anthony. Lord God, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us shine in their sight so that they may praise your goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of Blessed Anthony bear witness to the glory of divine power, 
so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Anthony, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Oh, no. 
Please stand. Let us pray. Make us who have been nourished by this sacred meal, Almighty God, always follow the example of Blessed Anthony in serving you with constant devotion and assisting all with untiring charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So